Hello, folks. My name is Rob Foster. I'm the coordinator of the Golf and Club Management Program at Fanshawe College. Um, today, what we're going to do is we're going to provide a demonstration of what we do at the college using some of our swing technology. And we actually use that swing technology through um, the iPad. And uh, Andrew here is on the varsity golf team, and he's going to provide us with a demonstration. Um, before we start, I just want to provide a quick overview of our program. Our program is a two-year diploma program with pathways into several areas in hospitality, um, hotel, food and beverage, and of course business. Some of our students, such as Andrew, is looking to become a PGA professional. And you have a, a really good golf game going on, don't you? Zero handicap right there. Um, our program focuses in on, obviously, golf, golf services, how to run a pro shop, food and beverage management, turf management, and of course, financial management and business and how to manage a club. We have several co-op opportunities in our program. We've had students who obviously work in the beautiful city of London, but also in the Muskoka Resort properties. Out west, uh, we have a good affiliation with the Fairmont properties, Jasper Park Lodge, and Banff Springs. And we even have an alumni working at a golf course in Australia. Um, so they've uh, worked at some amazing locations. There's a picture on the screen that you'll see of one of our students cutting greens at Big Sky Golf Resort in Pemberton, British Columbia. At this point, I'd like to introduce my colleague, Colin Robertson. He's a CPGA pro, uh, assistant pro at Sunningdale. And he's going to introduce you to the technology we're going to be seeing today. After we do that, we're going to uh, do a putting contest as well. So I'll take it away, Colin. All right, so all you audience members, get ready, because we're going to call upon you. Uh, my name is Colin Robertson. Uh, I'm a part of the Golf and Club Management Program here at Fanshawe College. Also the varsity golf coach of the uh, men's and women's golf teams, respectively. And uh, something that I'm very proud to be a part of uh, is, is the product that Fanshawe can produce. So what I'm going to show you today is uh, just a little bit about what we do with our program. We have uh, about 20% of our student clientele that actually want to turn pro in the industry. And the other 80% actually want to just be within management, general management within the industry as well. But it's pretty important that, you know, in golf and club management, uh, that the, the people that are in charge of the, pe you know, the members and the guests actually know how to play the game. So what we do is we talk about golf. On the, for, uh, on the forefront, we talk about golf more than anything, but we also talk about curling, tennis, racket sports, aquatics, things like that, that we enjoy in our society as part of our recreation. We want to make sure that our graduates are coming out of our program with the full knowledge of how to play the game, but uh, how to understand it as well. One of the biggest reasons that we bias the golf industry is because we have more people in Canada that play golf than any other country in the world. More participants in the game of golf than any other country in the world. So from the age of three to the age of 103, and I gotta tell you, I've met a 103 year old golfer that still golfs, this game can be enjoyed by all. So we bias the golf industry heavily, but it's also about recreation and, and uh, the industry that recreation holds in our country. It's a big industry. So Andrew is one of my, uh, well, he's probably one of the best golfers that we have on our Fanshawe golf team. He's produced a lot of results for us. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you just how we dissect the golf swing. So like I said, we've got 80% of our students that just want to be in the management side of the things. But we need to make sure that they know how to play the game or at least they know how to talk about the game in a respectful manner so that the guests and members know that they can talk to them about it. All right. So we try to expose them to all of this. So Andrew, if you don't mind, if you want to uh, step up to this golf ball right here. Folks, if you take a look at the TV, what you're going to see is exactly what I see on my iPad. And, and one of the best things about my iPad and the swing technology of the V1 Swing app, it's a $5 app that you can get on your iPhone or your iPad, one of the best things about this is we can diagnose the golf swing in 120 frames per second. Okay, so let's say 30 years ago, I, had, I, I would never have this technology. In fact, 30 years ago, I was just born. So 30 years ago, the people that taught golf never had anything like this in terms of how to relate to their student. We're talking about 
The way that people learn, people are kinesthetic, so people learn by feel. People learn by analytics, okay? People are very uh, different in terms of how they analyze the golf swing. But one of the biggest things that we can do to shrink the learning curve in terms of learning how to play golf is to show exactly what they look like on here. Because exactly what they look like on here, on my iPad, is certainly not exactly what they feel. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple examples here of Andrew's swing, and I'm going to show you exactly how we diagnose that. All right, so what we have here on the screen is what I'm going to show you, and this is what I would show most of my students. Uh, I would show the, uh, the, the, go the golf students, but I would also show the guys that are on the golf team and the girls that are on the golf team. And what we do is we take this swing, we put it into multimedia, and we're able to follow and progress or track the progress of his swing throughout uh, our time together. So what we can do right here is we can just take a look quickly at his ball position. Ball position, he's got a six iron in his hand. It's right in the middle of his stance. I'm going to get right to the point where he's about to take that away. Okay, so we take a look. He's right in the middle of a stance, which is perfect ball position. We've got his shaft of the club and his arm all symmetrical and in line, which helps him when he comes back to the golf ball to produce a square club face. Okay, so ball position and uh, posture is of utmost importance. I'm going to draw a line right here. That line across is sort of his line where I want to show you a little bit more in the, later in the golf swing about what he's going to do with that line there. So let's take that golf swing back just a little bit. Take that golf swing right back to the top of his golf swing or at least to where his arm is parallel. Okay, And what we can do is we can take a look at the angle that he creates in his golf swing, which means the angle with his wrist, which is lag in the golf swing. This is power. Okay, using the angle of the wrist with the transition of the hips back to the golf ball is how these guys that you guys see on TV on a weekly basis hit at 350 yards. Andrew hits at about 349 yards, okay? So he's right up there with those guys. Now, one thing that I didn't do and I just want to show you is I want to show you the, the ability to show the steadiness of the head. And usually the steadiness of the head will tell you everything about the golf swing. So he gets to the top of the swing. You can see how his head dips, right? His head dips down, 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 and boom, he comes through the golf ball with, and I'll go back here for one second, at, at impact, he's got straight arms through the ball, his belt buckle is already through, and he's right committed to his target. This right here, this technology that we use, okay? Andrew's a very good golfer. He's one of the best golfers on the golf team for sure. He gives us results every year. Now, he might be a zero handicap. There might be a couple of you out in the audience that say, well, I'm a 20 handicap. How can this help me? Well, as soon as you see your swing on video and we slow it down for you and I can diagnose what you've done wrong and right, there's an ability there for you to achieve better results through this. So that's the one angle. Andrew, I want you to go for another angle if you don't mind. Go ahead. And then we can take a look at the different angle of his golf swing here. So now we've got the behind the, the or down the line perspective, if you will. And this is the, uh, the shot that a lot of the, uh, the TV companies, NBC, CBS, they love this perspective because what it does is it actually shows the shot direction of the golf ball, it shows the trajectory of the golf ball, and the actual power that these pros have and that they can put into their golf swing. So we get into this perspective here. What I like to do is show the shaft line. I'm going to put a, a, a line at the top of his head to just show you exactly or to show him exactly how far he moves laterally up and down. We don't want a whole lot of movement there, and this is something that we are able to do or able to use in terms of uh, diagnosing exactly what he's done. We're going to take that club back. Just before we do that, I'm going to show you his posture. 
We want to make sure that his posture stays at that posture the entire time. Okay. We're going to get his arm to parallel here. His arm to parallel here. We want to make sure that when he comes back down with the swing, with the shaft, that he's coming on top of that line. If he's coming on top of that line, gen generally, he's going to come through that golf ball with the square club face, and he's going to have a better result with his swing. So he gets to the top. See how his head dips. All right, so that would be something right there that I would say, okay, Andrew, we got to work on that. We're going to work on your posture and your golf swing as it comes through the golf ball. This could be actually taking away distance and accuracy because of that move. Now, granted, it was one swing. You might not do this all the time, but this is something that we're going to see. All right, so he comes down, shaft comes down, and one of the biggest positives to his golf swing is the fact that the shaft is completely parallel to where it was when he started. Okay? The desire of any golfer is to start the golf swing here. When you come back to the golf ball, you want to return the golf swing at the golf ball the same way you started. Andrew does a very good job of that. Okay, all the way through the follow through, keeps his posture. There's a little rhyme that I, I like to tell all my students, whether they're three, four, five years old, all the way up to 90 years old. One, two, bottom of the shoe. Andrew, if you don't mind, one, two, bottom of the shoe. Can you demonstrate that? We're going to go one to the top of the sky, two back to the golf ball, and all the weight has to come through the swing to see the bottom of the shoe. If you can do that in golf, you're ahead of most of the game. Now, at this point, who would like to come on up here and win a bit of a treat? We have somebody right there. Got someone right here. All right, come on up here. We're going to do a little bit of a putting expo with you. I'll give you a couple tips. If you could come around the, the back, there's stairs up the back there. Uh, yep, just at the back. Do you, do you putt this way, right? Okay, okay. So we need a right handed putter. So we've got right handed here. and wrong handed, and she is right handed. <laughs> Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> What's, what's your name? Brenda. Okay, Brenda, have you ever watched the game show The Price is Right? Okay, so you, so you don't work and you stay at home in the afternoons and watch game shows. Okay, so we've established that. All right, um, in that game, um, what the premise is is that you would, would uh, identify products, right? If you get the products right in terms of their price, you get to go closer to the hole. The whole idea of this game is to get a hole in one, right? Okay. But we're not going to do that. We're going to ask you a couple trivia questions. But the added benefit is you have a pro here who's going to give you some tips on how to get the hole in one. Okay? So, do you want to start? Sure. Question number one. Which professional golfer just turned 40 a month ago? Tiger Woods, that's the answer. Tiger Woods All right, is correct. So we're going to move that a little bit closer. It seems like every home. answer is Tiger yeah, Woods. Well, it doesn't well, matter know, what he does. We're okay. trying to make this easy, right? All right. Let's do, so we'll go a little bit closer, right? Okay. What do you think? Uh, so, sure, so, okay, sure. Okay, let's go question number two. I'm pretty confident she's going to get the next answer, too. I mentioned this earlier in the demonstration. What sport is participated more by Canadians than any other sport in this country? Other than curling, it's golf. Got to be golf. is correct. And that's exactly right. So a lot of people think it's that. hockey, don't they? It's not yeah. hockey. Okay. Nope. I'm hockey. telling you, you can play this game when you're three years old. You can play when you're 103. We've got 100 years that we can span and still be able to actively play and enjoy this game. Okay. So I, think, right. I think that's pretty close. I, I, that's I have pretty confidence good. in her. That's that pretty good. Get so I'm going to give you a practice putt. What I want you to do is take your stance, and I want you to, to putt like you normally would, okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. Oh, she's getting the slope. Oh, she's, she's reading getting, the green. She's reading I like the green. that. All right. So we missed the putt. So what we're going to do is we're going to make, make Can we this get a new volunteer? She cannot get the time. No, I'm just kidding. Now, folks, one thing that uh, is overlooked by most golfers is the fact that most golf balls have a logo, or at least if they don't have a logo, they have some sort of line that's drawn on them. So what we want to do is we want to use that logo, we want to use that line for 
your benefit. It's not against the rules of golf that we're able to use this in terms of an aid to your game. So there's a little line on this golf ball that we're going to do. What we're going to do with that is we're going to line that line right up to the hole. Now, Brenda, is that lined up to the hole in terms of what you can see? Sure. sure. All right. So the, uh, the next thing that we want to do is make sure that your eyes come right over top of the golf ball. Okay? So you might have to step forward. So if you, if you don't mind, what we'll do is we'll put it here and you can step on. Yep. There we go. So we're going to aim that line right at the hole. Now, there are also lines on the golf club, the putter face itself, that you can use for alignment. You can use this as a tool to create success. So we're going to take those lines. We're going to put them right on line and parallel with that line that's on the golf ball. Are your eyes over top? What do you think, Andrew? Are your eyes over top? All right, so from here, you're just going to go straight back and make sure that you follow through past your foot. All right, we're going to try one more time. All right, so the line, so the line is right with the line on the, on the putter face. You're going to make sure that this putter head comes past your left foot so that ball goes in the hole. Oh, hole in one. All right, so okay. we've got a great gift for you. So, Brenda, i got a question for you. What is the best part? of golf. Do you know what the best part is? The 19th hole. The 19th hole, right? So we have a 19th hole. It's our clubhouse at Fanshawe College called Saffron's Dining Room. We have a dinner for two for you. We have a pack of golf balls for you as well. Okay? So thank you for helping us out. Thanks, Brenda. You can Absolutely. exit the stairs in the, in, the, in the back. Thank you so much. And uh, again, my name is Rob Foster. I'm the coordinator of the program. And um, if you're interested in more information, we're going to put up our uh, our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook. We're also, uh, you can follow us on Twitter. A lot of the stuff that we do in the classroom, um, we post so that you can see it. And if you have any more info information, we have lots of flyers on the side there for you. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks so much. Thanks, folks.